minutes. It's considered a one act. And then after it's over, we'll have a 15 minute intermission. Then you'll come back and uh, the second show of the night is called State of Mind. And you'll have to find that in your program. It's a big challenge, but I know you can do it. It's called State of Mind. It's in there, believe me. But you don't have to look at that right now because you're not gonna see that show for another hour. That show's gonna start at roughly nine o'clock, but right now we're doing Rough, rough Mia. Now I'd like um, to take a moment to introduce not only the playwright for Rough Mia, but also the director for Rough Mia, and she has had to take over for one of the actors at the last minute, so she has a major role. And if you look at your program, you'll see her name three times, and that is Maria de los Angeles. Maria, come on up.
brother and sister, they used to. yourself a man? No, definitely not. I mean, I just can't let it all go like that. You know, it's only been three years since mom died. And all that crazy chaos happened? <sighs> Donnie, thank you. Thank you so much for freeing me and Simone. So we didn't end up like mom. I know how hard it was for you to do that. And I am so grateful to you. I owe you this life I have. And thank you for the money. <laughs> it will help. I am like the sun, but we're not enough forever. I love you. You're my sister. And I love Simone. <laughs> and you two deserve better than all that. And besides, this is what made me my job. <sighs> and I love my work. I cannot believe that's what you do for a living. I mean, was there no other way? <clears throat> is that all you thought life had for you? No. <laughs> this is not what I thought life had for me. This is not what I thought I'd become, but hey, it's just life. It's just business, Tish. And it does you guys some good. Look, this house would have been shot the fuck up if it wasn't for my reputation. Otherwise, I'm thankful. Well, where are you going? I have to go see an old friend. Mm -hmm. Daryl. Oh. I just want to see how he's been. That's all. I never understood why you put out with that piece of shit. He is a loser. <laughs> Come on, Tish, give him a break. You know what happened to his family. Uh, Look, I know he's made some bad choices, but he's my best friend. I'll call you later, okay? Who hasn't had it bad? You and me have had it bad, and we don't act like that. Whatever, Donnie. Be careful, and don't forget to call me. I will. <laughs> what are you doing here? I saw you walking here. I was worried. Are you in trouble? Oh, no, they just called me here random. I don't know what it's about. Well, what happened to your face? <laughs> Nothing. I, I fell. Good morning, Selena. How are you today? Fine. All right. 
right to the point. Um, I called you in here today because your English teacher, Mr. Kent, has noticed you have some unexplainable bruises on your face, and I can tell from looking at you that he was not exaggerating. Now, I would like to start off by telling you that you can trust me. I'm here to help you, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay, well, to start on a more comfortable topic, can you explain this? Why does this one have all A's and one B, and this one have all F's? Is there something going on at home, Selena? I know you took it really hard when your parents died in that car accident, as did your sister. But that was a while ago, and your grades only recently started to slip. And you've become withdrawn and almost rude, and your teachers have noticed you come to school with bruises. Look, Miss Chilling, it's really none of your concern what goes on in my personal life. I'm just dealing with the law right now. I'll get my grades up. Don't worry. Selena, normally I wouldn't interfere, but you might be being physically abused by someone, and it's something I'm going to have to report. It would be easier if you just told me so the district doesn't have to do the investigation. Are you serious right now? I'm not listening to this! Selena, wait! Selena! Wait. I'm not going to do an investigation right now, okay? Just think things over and give me a call when you're ready. My home number is on the card. Whatever. Remember? <coughs> Let's leave. It won't be easy, but... 
but maybe a foster home will take us in so we get jobs. You could go to college. We don't need Daryl. We could do better by us than him. Who are you kidding? Do what? Go where? No job is going to hire us uh, since it's going to pay enough to live off of. And besides, we're not even 18. Look, I'm happy right where I'm at. I love my rocks, I love my spot, and I love my man. Go if you want to, but if you're a little ass stage, you're going to be turning tricks like me. I waited until you were 16 to break it to you, but I'm not supporting you anymore. There you are. So let's stop working for right this instant! <laughs> Selena, what are you doing? You already expelled her. Just drop it, Mr. Brody. She's gone. Wow, Selena. Just wow. You disappoint me. You really can't defend her behavior. She is my sister. It doesn't matter what she does. She will always be my sister. You've made your bed, Selena. Now lay in it. You're suspended. Go home. What? Right. side and shit, you know, come into my fun and order to fill But it's just as clean. She don't be fucking with any drugs. So if I start right now, she'll make enough money for car for my losses. Shit, life ain't free, man. <laughs> you a fucking bit now? Dude, I've known you for many years, and now you're trying to pimp out some teenage girls? Daryl, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Look. Killing on contract like me is one thing. <laughs> this is another. What? She doesn't have a problem with it. She even said it was cool to get her sister into it. Whatever, they ain't staying here for free. End of story. Well, then just make them get jobs. Do you fucking realize what you're doing? Do you know how much trouble you can get into? And since when was you into this kind of shit? Come on, Daryl. Why are you doing this? You got it. No business coming up in here and telling me what's slow. Look at how your ass is. Busting into people's houses, shooting for a, book of, a couple of racks on the side. Man, I don't kill people I don't know. I don't deserve my friends to leave the only family I have with no word. You're the only fucking family I have. And where were you? Doing those jobs? You left me to fend for myself. You left me to pay for this rent. Man, how dare you tell me what's slow? You're right. I did leave here with no work, but I had to take care of it. I needed money. My sisters needed money. It's been hard for me ever since my mom died. I lost it. You know this. Daryl, you don't need to be doing this, man. And how much you make it off of these girls anyways? Well, my girl, 
she a freak. There ain't nothing she won't do. And she gives me all the money. You fucking dumbass! <laughs> Enough with the judges, man. Don't knock it till you try it. I'll make you a deal. Two hours for the sister now. Twenty-five dollars an hour. Now that's a discount. What do you say? Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Man, I can't believe you. All right. <laughs> I guess I can give her 50 bucks for some time with her. Where is she in this? She's at school right now. Trust me. Donnie, my man. I won't be talking to you when you see her. She's fucking hot. <laughs> Seen 
I mean, how long has he been doing this to you girls? As far as I know, he started with my sister, but it always seemed like this kind of thing got him off. How did you girls end up with them anyways? Because I was living here nine months ago, and you girls weren't here. It's a long story. We got time. Well, it's like this. My sister started doing math a while ago. It was under control until she met Daryl. First she was just buying her drugs from him, but then they started dating. She lost it with the drugs. Her and my parents used to fight all the time. They died in a car crash a while ago. Daryl took us in. It sucked. I want to leave so bad. Anything's better than being poured out and spun out. I see. Things have just been so horrible around here. It made a mess of my life. What do you mean? Look. Damn, girl! <laughs> Fucked yourself up! <laughs> it's the only thing that helps anymore. Why do you cut? I mean, why aren't you on drugs like your sister? Or drinking or something? <laughs> I mean, what is it that's so good about that? When I feel low, it hurts so much inside. I can barely breathe. My pain fills me up. No amount of crying, screaming will ease it. When I slice into my flesh, and I see the blood. I imagine the blood is my pain, flowing, flowing and forgotten. And then I feel real and crowned again. It's a rush. I'm addicted to it. Who needs drugs when you have this? Whenever I feel low, my leg aches, burns for my release. I'm addicted to it. I know you probably think I'm crazy or a freak or something, huh? No. Everyone has their own ways of dealing with their pain. I have no right to look down on yours. But I admit it. It is strange to me. I can't believe Daryl. I can't fucking believe that he would stoop that low. Somebody needs to take care of him. Yeah, but who will? Me. <laughs> not I can't let this go. Why you were his friend? So? That doesn't mean he's doing right for himself or others. There's just some, some lines you just don't cross. Yeah, I guess. Let me ask you something. If you were free to go wherever you wanted to go, where would you go? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Okay. Well, if you had the opportunity to do anything in the whole world, what would you want to do? Well, the first thing would be to get out of this house. Maybe go to a homeless shelter and find a way of dealing with my depression. Go to high school and go to college if I could afford it. College? What for? I want to be a vet. I love animals. I think they need more help than people do. I have no respect for people who stay in the Damn it. You have lots of plants for one so young. Thank you. And I respect that. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you for not trying to fuck me.
tell you? Why do you want to know? It's not your business. Donnie told me they were murdered. I know you know what happened. Jesus, why are you such a nosy bitch all the time? Fuck! <laughs> Please? Fine. But if you say anything out of this room, I'm gonna break something over your head. I'm not fucking playing. Okay, okay. I don't really know much, just that his mom was, or his dad was seeing someone behind his mom's back and she set him up. <sighs> Fuck, that's horrible. No wonder. Yeah. That's why when he gets in his moods, I try to get understanding. Understanding? Through what he's done to you? Why? Selena, you don't understand. You've never been in love. Shit, you just lost your virginity tonight. What the fuck do you know? <laughs> I know he has no right to be whoring you onto other guys and put his hands all over you. Dude, stop! Look, Daryl loves me as much as he possibly can. He just hates women, and I don't blame him after what he's been through. <laughs> Going to the store. Do you want anything? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't tell Daryl I went out because he always likes to go with me and get new customers. Okay. Bye. How fast? <laughs> you didn't tell me she was a cutter. Shit, she is. Cat didn't tell me either. I'm gonna have a word with the little brat about that. She was a virgin too. You lucky bastard. <laughs> How was it? Hey, I'll bet you're glad I tossed your wake up. I tried to be gentle with her. What? You pussy! I would have torn that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cold like you, bro. Yeah, you shouldn't be. I'm no good. Man, the world is in a good place. I'm just a part of the world. But I got a way to get by now. I got my girl. I got her sis. So I have more girls. I could fit ten bitches up in here. I'll be doing big things soon. Just watch. Selling teenage girls isn't doing it big, bro. And I've had enough of this shit. You're fucking trash. I tried to help you when we were young, but you never fucking seemed to fucking get it. You knew how I'd been through, and you knew how I grew up, and you fought this shit in my face with no respect. So fuck you, Daryl. I'm out. Fuck me. This coming from the man who killed his own father. The man was just trying to make a living. And what do you do? You kill nobody just because you don't like the way you went about it? If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't even be here. My father died because he had no respect for his family. I killed him because he was whoring out my mom and beating my sisters. I wasn't just going to sit there and watch him as his top selling horse. So fuck you, Daryl, you fucking cocksucker. I never want to see you again. <laughs> fucking kill you, Donnie.
Lex, that's Tish. It's not my blood. Look, there was a fight. I killed Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> this is his girlfriend's sister. Sue and her while they get cleaned up. I'll explain everything after. I'm sorry, me, him. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's okay. see what was going on, and Tail tried to get a knife in on Donnie, but Donnie slit his throat. All I could see in my head is the blood. There was so much blood. Tonight 
was unexpected. This is not how I pictured my return home. And I have to leave again? I didn't get to see my other sister or spend time with both of them. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Daryl was my best friend. I loved him. But I can't believe that this would happen. Fuck. Tony, he was going to stab you. If you didn't kill him, it would be you lying down on the ground right now. You know this. I know. But now, I'm going far away. But this time, I will manage to write to my family. Leticia and Simone are all I have. Where will you go? Wherever your work takes you? Huh? They men she mentioned she didn't like your line of work. Maybe it's because you're gone all the time. Yeah, something like that. May I ask what you do? Well, I'm, uh, man, you won't believe me if I tell you. Try me. Yeah.